this is the pen, insulin pen that I was telling you guys about. I bought three of them, gave one to my dad. This is, I got colors purple, blue, and black. Oddly enough, my dad did not want this icy powder blue or the purple. So basically, over here is how you determine how many units, because this is an insulin pen, so it goes with units, how many units you're going to do. It goes up to 60, 61, something like that, 61. And this window tells you um, how many units you're on. You can also toggle it back down in case you did too many. And then to actually inject it, you push this way until it goes all the way back down to zero. This has a spring. It hides the needle when you put a needle in. The way that you fill it is you take this off. This um, shows you that it's supposed to go up to 220 units, I think, but it, I don't believe it does. This screws off. This part is what gets pushed up when you know you do this and you do that. This part pushes. Now, this is not the cartridge. This is just kind of the holder for the cartridge. I'm not going to actually open it, but I'll show you what it looks like. This is the cartridge itself. It's um, sealed, you know, it's crimped, it's got the rubber gasket here. This uh, black thing down here, when you have chosen a certain amount of insulin and you, you know, you push this button forward, it actually causes this to come up. And so eventually this black bottom will, you know, go all the way up. But you take this out, you fill it with whatever you're filling it with, you put it in like this, and then you screw this back on. I just filled my dad's up yesterday, so he's gonna use it. Now, I chose, oh, and um, these are insulin pen tips. This is a um, five, uh, five millimeter. I'll show you, I'll put a picture so you can see what it looks like when it's out. But basically you take this seal off. There are two different caps. This is the outer cap, and then this is the inner cap. And in here, once you remove this, there's gonna be a needle that sticks out this way. You can kind of see it right there. So this needle goes here, and then from here, there's a needle that comes up this way. So it's kind of a longer needle. When this is out, before you take any of the lids off you're going to put it this way it's going to penetrate this needle because this is off remember it's going to penetrate this rubber gasket and then it twists this is a twist you can see the threads here so once this is fully on then you're going to gently pull this big cap's going to come off and then you're going to pull this smaller cap off and this is the smaller cap inside that's what reveals the actual needle now, at that point, you would just put this back on, you know, say, oh, I need 10 units. You would push this down, at which point the needle would puncture the skin, right, wherever you put it. And then once, it's in, once the needle is in your skin, you push this way, that's what pumps the medicine into you. You take it off your skin, this retracts because it's very easy. Open this again. You put the inner lid back on, because remember the needle is still going to be on here. So you put the inner needle lid on, you put this bigger outer needle lid on, and then you twist it off. Then you cap it. And if you still had um, material inside the cartridge, which most likely, this is a three milliliter cartridge, most likely you're not going to inject yourself with an entire three milliliters at one time. And if you did, why would you even need a glass canister? You would just use a regular, like, three milliliter syringe, like a plastic one. Um, these are more, I feel, to be used if you're going to be using something regularly or you have a larger dose or batch that you're making up and you're going to be using it, like, over and over again, like, many times. This is where these kind of come in handy. 
that's what the pen needle is. When I inject myself, I'm not going to be using this. Um, a lot of people use either six or eight millimeter uh, pen tips. This one's a five. When I use when I use one of these syringes to inject myself, I use a four millimeter. Um, but five, when I've tested it, like the needle barely comes out once this is all the way pushed down. Um, so I'm just going to, when I actually do get around to using it, I'm just going to use it like this. So there'll be a needle, you know, this will be screwed on, take the lids off. I'll just inject like this because I'm already used to doing that with a needle that I can fully see. It doesn't bother me. So I don't need to hide it. This brand what is it? Easy pens, I think is what it's called. E-Z -E pens. And I will try to, um, oh, it's easypsupply.com um, slash shop. They don't really have any pens um, right now for sale, but they get them all the time. And there's a lot of other insulin type pens that you can use. This is just the brand that I went with because um, people on one of my Discord forums seem to like it. But that's it. I, uh, for me, since I'm re reconstituting 30, um, 30 milligram vials, I typically do like a, a tens, I divide it by tens. So I would do three milliliters into a 30 milligram vial. Um, the problem with that is, so I'd be doing, let's say I'm doing 7.5 milligrams, 7.5 milligrams using that type of water reconstitution, that'd be 75 units. So I'd have to go all the way out to 60, inject myself with it, keep it in there, generally speaking. I guess I could take it out and then re-inject, but then I'd have to go up to 15, yeah, right there, and then finish the rest of the dose. I don't want to have to do that. So what I'm going to be doing is, what I did for my dad yesterday was I halved the water, the back water that I reconstituted with. So it was a 30 milligram vial, but I did 1.5 milliliters of water. That means he'll be going to 38. It's technically 37.5, but we're just having him do 38. So he goes to 38. And that's, it looks like this is just going to be a ton of liquid. But actually, when you, when you have this in and you're working with it, it just, it makes it move very slowly. Like it, it's, it's not like this much liquid is being, um, you know, put in, which I thought was kind of interesting because I was kind of worried about that. But yeah, he hasn't used his pen yet. He will be using it, um, I don't know, in a couple days. I think he just took his last shot. So he was pretty um, excited because he, for a while, he's been a lot better, but when he's been putting his pen tips or his uh, needles on these plastic syringes, he was um, bending the needle, trying to get the liquid out of the vial. And then, so he was having to use multiple needles. This one should be pretty easy. You know, it just clicks on, you spin, pop off, pop off, inject. So yeah, so this is that pen. I think it will be good. It's especially going to be good for folks who take either have larger vials that they're reconstituting or some people are on protocols where they need to um, inject daily. Like maybe they make there's um, one of the forums that I'm on. These folks are mixing up. What do they call it? Pony elixir. It's kind of a, a pet name. But there's a lot of stuff that goes into it, um, and they call it pony elixir because a lot of the stuff that they are injecting with is actually being purchased from equestrian or equine um, shops because to get the same thing for a human, you'd have to have like a prescription. But if you're getting it for a horse, with a lot of things, you don't. So they're they're mixing and matching a lot of different vitamin type supplements. My point being, they typically with something like that, you'd be injecting you know, maybe once a day or once every other day, you're not going to want to just, oh, I already have my shot um, prepared, but you're not going to want to have to fill one of these like every day or every other day. Much easier just to do a single batch and then just be like, all right, I need, you know, 10 units. Bloop. All right, today's done. So, so yeah, that's what, that's what the pen is. Hopefully that helps. If you have any questions, let me know. I don't have any practical application use for this yet. 
but I will in about two weeks. I'm doing a shot today and then I'll have um, one more dose in that vial. So it'll probably be a good two weeks before I actually end up using my pens. All right, guys, hope that helped.